all the plastics we're bearing in landfills in the United States, if we captured the energy from those, we would have enough energy to power uh, the needs of 6 million cars or the energy needs for 5.2 million homes in this country. We are throwing away now 26 million tons of plastics in landfills each and every year. So if you use technologies like the one in my home state, Agilix, you can, in effect, convert plastic into six billion gallons of petroleum products. It is on both sides of the aisle and both sides of Congress saying this is too valuable, too valuable a resource to ignore, a renewable resource that will always be with us. In this nation, we recycle over 30 percent of our waste, and there's potential to do more. Waste energy plants have worked hand in hand with robust recycling programs in their communities, and they generally have higher recycling rates, research shows, than communities that do not have waste energy facilities. In the United States, we produce something around four pounds of garbage per person per day. And, you know, there's really only two solutions right now that can manage that waste at the scale and the frequency that it's generated one is put it to landfills, and engineered landfills, as Barry mentioned, and the other is to put it to waste to energy facilities or thermal conversion technologies to extract energy from them. And if we were to do that, we heard that you know, we'd probably offset about 8% or so, 10% of the U.S. energy demand. We want energy that's domestic. We want it to be low carbon. We want it to be sustainable, affordable, abundant, abundant reliable. Um, a lot of different energy options provide a lot of those things, but some of them have different drawbacks. It might be intermittent or too expensive, or they're not from here or whatever it is. And taking waste streams from energy actually tend to meet most of those goals. So it's a pretty promising opportunity. It's here, lower carbon. It's renewable. It's abundant in some uh, at big enough value that we care about it. It can be price effective with the new technologies we're about to hear about. So it's, it's an exciting opportunity from the global context, from the U.S. context, and it fits in well with some of the challenges. The really exciting stuff and what's going on in our industry for lots of different reasons, whether it's waste generation or public policy that's pushing materials out of the uh, landfill such that you've got a delta now between what's generated and what goes into the landfill, there's a lot of material there and there's a lot of value in it. There is a substantial amount of value um, that, that, is, that can be created using these types of technologies. Uh, and it's not just economic. There are tremendous environmental benefits from using conversion technologies responsibly. We want to be uh, a partner uh, in a broader coalition uh, that can advance uh, the policies uh, and the understanding in terms of how we can capitalize on a valuable resource in this country. Is that how can we kind of reframe um, how we look at uh, uh, municipal waste or trash? Uh, that it is not a waste. Uh, it is an opportunity for us to convert that to a host of valuable materials and energy uh, that, and that we have the ability to do so in a, a very environmentally responsible way.